What's going on YouTube? So, I'm recording this video again because I messed it all up. Lost the file, couldn't figure out how to get it to load the way I wanted it to, and so I'm starting all over again. I'm doing it through a different file, so let's just get right down to it. We talked last time, and I was going to start making pipes, I said. Well, I've made pipes, about 10 of them, and I have a couple here to show you today, and one that's in the middle of the process. So let's go with this first one here. Oh, sorry, hit a keyboard. A little bent volcano pipe. Just, it turned out way better than I expected. It was my first bent. I'm not, I'm not sure, I can't remember what kind of briar I used for this one. Most of the most of the briar that I've used in the past was Algerian briar or some Italian briar that I get from a guy online. But this one, I mean, it, it was my first time using leather dye on it to try and make the grain pop, sort of as the stain. So let's take a look. I'm going to try and not be that. I'm going to try and do this less where I put stuff up against the camera. I'm going to try and not put my hand up there, you know. Uh, 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 look at it. Uh, oh, it's a pipe. Yeah, no, I, I'm sorry. But here's the one. Just quarter bent. Apparently the saddle here. This is this is all too long. I I sent a picture to a couple of a couple of pipe makers that I follow on Instagram. And there's still some things I need to change about this one, but that's that's one that I did. It turned out pretty good. And then this one kind of bummed about how this one turned out. So before I show you, I made I made this pipe and I was done with it and I had stained it and I had a cool band on it and I thought it looked really good and I was really quite excited for the way it turned out. I had put a lot of thought into it and then I uh, took a picture of it and I sent it to a person who I respect a ton in the artisan pipe industry and there was just a ton of, a ton of, ton of things wrong with it. The band was too big, this, that, and the other, and not finished enough here. And so then I went out or went at a second go on it. And here's kind of, here's kind of what we came up with. Okay. So this is, this is, oh, losing my light. So this is after, after round three on the shape of this pipe. Okay. You see, we got a little bit of a canted top there, nice little stem. But what happened, I took the band off, and I was doing some work on the stem. And when I went to fit it, you see that? I cracked the shank right there. Big, big old nasty crack. It comes, I mean, it comes all the way, all the way down there. Just, it was super, super sad. So I did that. I said, okay, we'll keep it at home. So I went, I continued working on it a little bit. And at some point, when I was doing some stem work, I don't know if you can, I don't think you can see it, but there's a big old gap right here. And I can put my fingernail in between it. And you see it all the time. It just doesn't, it doesn't sit snug up to it. So this one, this one's just gonna have to stay at home. It didn't, it didn't go the way I wanted it to, which is, which is unfortunate because it's really pretty briar, and I was really excited about it. And I think now, I mean, now that it's, now that it's finished, I think it's got a good shape to it. You know, but that's that's that, and that's what happens. That's why we have, that's why we have a bunch of briar hanging out. That's why I have nine or ten blocks just chilling ready to start going but here's one here's a pipe that has been giving me the hardest of a time it's just another bent okay just because they're fun I don't like bents personally like to smoke but I think they're really pretty and I appreciate the shape okay so I'm doing this one okay and it's in pear wood and I've never worked with pear wood before but it is incredibly hard I mean, it's like working with cement. I've broken two strips, two belts on my combo sander. 
And I haven't even hardly done anything to it. I mean, I roughed the shape out, and I did all this stuff, and I did all that aside before I got to starting to rough out the shape. And I was getting after it, you know, on the, on the, on the shaping wheel. And I just wanted to come across the bottom here and kind of make the and make this this valley a little bit nicer. So I'm getting after it on the on the combo sander on the belt, and I come around and I bring and I bring it over, and it's and it snaps it because I'm just pushing hard trying to get it to take away the wood. So I I get I, I replace it. And I'm I'm pushing I'm pushing less hard, and I'm going and it's going fine and it's going fine and then it breaks it again. So I don't know what. The deal is, but this one is taking forever, forever. But I wonder if you can see that draft hole. Nailed it. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. But yeah, so that's kind of that's what's going on as far as pipes go. I made about ten pipes, a couple of billiards, a couple of bulldogs, a freehand plateau pipe, um, a horn. It was pretty fun. Call it the Yukon. It's got a brass band around the end of the stem as well. But I haven't. I mean, I haven't really been doing a lot of pipe stuff recently. I've been. I've been vaping a lot. In my in my first video that I, well, no, my most recent video, the one, the late Christmas one, is what it's called because it was, shoot, I did that one about a week after Christmas and I got it uploaded yesterday, which was. What the twenty twenty first? Yeah, twenty first of March. So I mean that's a super super late Christmas video. But since then I mean I've been vaping a lot. And in that backtrack, in that last video, I showed you the Tesla and like a Pro Tank. I think it was a Pro Tank too. Since then the it the vaping has grown a ton. I mean that that's I do that a ton. So like here I'll show you this one that I'm that just kind of what's on the desk. So this is this is a Kraken. That's the atomizer. That's Kraken. And then it's sitting here on the Nemesis. And then I've got this sweet little drip tip that came in the mail the other day. Just a little black Dalaran drip tip. Friction fit. No O rings. Super just. Oh my gosh, super, super wide, wide bore. Yeah, crazy. But I've been vaping a lot. And so that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, let's take a two. And, uh, and so I'll kind of talk about both. You know, because my pipe world doesn't go very far. You know, I make a pipe here and there, make a pipe here and there. And on Tuesdays, I'm going to hang out with a group of guys here in Moscow. And we go, we go to a pub. And it's, a, I mean, like I'm not just being some pretentious guy and I'm saying pub. That's what it's called. It's called, it's called the pub. And we, we hang out and we drink beer and we smoke pipe and we talk and we, we share tobaccos and whatnot. We just have a good time. It's just a group of guys and we just smoke our pipes, you know, but when I'm not, when I'm not doing that, and when I'm not working, I'm usually vaping. So like on the desk here, I've got my VTR and my KFUN clone, Russian 91% clone. It's basically the same. It's just a tobacco, tobacco clone on the VTR. Oh, and I modified the VTR. Here, we'll take that off. I modified the VTR to fit the K fun. You see it's kind of choppy. It's because I took a Dremel to it and there was a ring. There was a ring that come right up here. And it would only fit 19 mil mods. So like um, any of the iClear, if you vape any of the iClear 30 tanks, uh, the Pro tanks, like the Vivi Novas and stuff like that. But I modified it so that it would fit my K fun and my Kraken and like the Typhon GT. So that's kind of what I've been doing. It's super fun. Like figuring out how to build coils. I think it's so much fun. Like here in the Kraken. Kind of built a weird one. Dual 9 wrap. Uh, 24 gauge Canthal coming in at 0.3 ohms. It was a little bit lower than I was expecting. But yeah. 
doing some vape stuff, doing some uh, pipe stuff. Still trying to figure out what I want to do with this channel. In the very beginning, it was supposed to be all pipe stuff all the time. Pipes and tobacco and stuff like that. But I don't do a lot of pipe stuff. I mean, right now, it's a pretty... It's a pretty split mix of vape stuff, pipe stuff, and I mean, I was working like crazy. I kind of have a little bit of break off from work right now, so it might be that I get into more pipe stuff, but until then, I kind of guess, I'll just, I would think I'm just going to make this this YouTube, I'm just going to check in every week and kind of show you some new pipes, show you some new vape stuff. I am going to have a video up, hopefully two weeks, three weeks from now, sorry, excuse me. Where I'm going to review and talk about a couple of new vape stuff that, I'm or that I've ordered. So I've ordered two mods. I ordered a H-Cigar clone of the Hanamods V2 DNA 20 board uh, mod. And then I ordered another clone of the Hanamods V3. Not entirely sure who makes that V3, but... I have those on the way, one from Fast Tech, one from eBay, still kind of waiting. And then I ordered the M tank, the all plastic tank for the K Fun. And as well, where's my, I don't know where the Tie Fun is, but I ordered an all plastic kit for the Tie Fun that gives you 7 mil juice capacity, so it's a real tall plastic tank. And then it also replaces the top cap and the chimney section so it makes it all taller and bigger so those things will be on the queue here in the next little while hopefully not very long I mean I've already been waiting for the DNA 30 for a month now and I only ordered from Fast Tech like a week and a half ago so I'll probably still be waiting for that for another three weeks or so but hopefully that one from eBay is somewhere in the pipeline because I haven't heard much much from it or on it about it. if you like the videos comment subscribe let me know how to change. I know this is like video number four. I'm probably all over the place. I'm recording from the webcam of the Mac in a bedroom. And that's about all I can do. So if you can look past that, and you can look past my ugly mug, and you want to hear more, let me know. I can even like make a video of what I do when I, when I make pipes. So I can do build stuff, vape stuff. But right now, it's kind of just a mix. I'm going to do some reviews. Let me know what you want to see. If you want to see anything else, you can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is just Stephen Stockwell, same tag name as my YouTube. You can see my pipes on Etsy at pipesandprints at Etsy.com. That's that. And until next time, vape on, pipe on, whatever you want to do, keep calm and something on.